read this question. It says, hi, Rip, I'm 53, 225, lifting for a year or so. Squats heavier than deadlift. Doesn't seem right. When I try for a deadlift PR, I get it off the ground an inch or two before I drop it. He squats 397. His deadlift is 369. But he can rack pull 485. He's mentioned 230 press and 165. His, with his gym reopening in the next few weeks, his plan is to restart novice program to the letter. Hope he, hopefully that will correct everything. Cheers, Frank. Frank, listen. Frank, uh, I can't answer this question without knowing a whole bunch of shit you didn't include in here, okay? Now, typically when we see people with that are squatting, more than they're pulling. There's, it's one of two situations. A, your squats aren't below parallel, right? So you're cutting off your squats. You're cheating the squat. Your squats are high. I have no video here, video here. I can't tell that. Or B, you're just not built very well for the deadlift. When I say built not very well for the deadlift, I mean one of two things. It could be that you've got a very short set of legs on you and very long back and you're just having trouble getting into a good pulling position or b there's something going on with your grip all right now people with little bitty stubby short fingers like little vienna sausages do people still know what those are vienna sausages people like still make those people like brie with no backyards now People with people in poverty like Bree with no backyards usually have a can of little Vietnamese sausages every day for lunch. They smash them between two saltines. Yeah, you remember that? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's good though. Yeah, that's really good. I couldn't eat it every day like Bree does, but I, I, uh, I do like them. I, you know, they're kind of cool. Little Vietnamese sausages in a can. You've seen them. Wait, are you calling them Vietnamese oh. sausages? Oh, I'm sorry, Vienna yeah. sauce. Vietnamese sausages are a whole different thing. Are they? Yeah. Are they better than Vienna sausages? Never had them. I don't think it's the good. Austrians I don't think it's make a, an yet. inferior product to the Vietnamese. I wouldn't. I wouldn't try them. <laughs> God knows what they make them out of. <laughs> uh, so, if your fingers look like little Vietnamese sausages, then you've got a problem, and you can't hold on to the bar. Now, you know, over the years. We've seen some astonishing things here at Starting Strength. We've been contacted by people who are having problems holding on to their deadlift that are not using they're not using chalk. Now and I don't Frank, I'm not accusing you of this, but are you using chalk? Maybe you should think about getting some chalk, because that'll help. Are you using a hook grip? Are you using the standard rev- alternate grip? that most people use on the deadlift. These things are all important factors, and you haven't mentioned them. And I have no way of telling why. But if the pull gets an inch off the ground or two before I drop it, well, here's my first question. Why did you drop it? You didn't want to keep pulling on it? Deadlifts are hard, Frank. You got to pull on them when you don't want to. That's how they go up. That fifth rep, you know, I know you don't want to pull on it, but if you set it down, you voluntarily set it down before it either grinds to a stop or falls out of your hands, then you haven't finished the pull. So without uh, knowing that, I really can't answer the question. But I did my job, right? I'm off the hook. I said I'd answer the question. I answered it, right? When somebody's when – somebody's- squat is way ahead of their deadlift yeah. doesn't that usually indicate to you that they're probably squatting high that's the first thing i assume yep. it's always the first thing i assume because i just assume that people are smart enough to use chalk and are using an alternate grip doing the things that you you everybody's supposed to do to ensure that they can finish a deadlift but i yeah if you've got an artificially high squat i mean an artificially heavy squat because it's high uh, then, uh, then you've got, uh, bad data here. Yep. 
Uh, I mean, the squat generally indicates that, I mean, you're ought to be at this, especially at this level of training advancement, you ought to be deadlifting more than you're squatting at 50 pounds, you know, and when we see something other than that, we first thing we suspect is you're chopping your squats off real high. And the second thing we suspect is Vietnamese sausage fingers. 